So, I got the craziest email this morning. I don't mean to burst your bubble, dude, but those penile enlargement pills do not work. <laughs> Believe me, I know. <laughs> the email I got was from the office of Stephen Hawking. You're kidding. Why? He's coming to the university for a couple weeks to lecture, and he's looking for an engineer to help maintain the equipment on his wheelchair. That's amazing. You'll be like his pit crew. <laughs> A word of caution, I would not do your Stephen Hawking impression in front of him. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I suppose that could be considered offensive. <laughs> the dragon falls from the sky, crashing into the volcano. Hey! <laughs> Wait! He's not dead. He crawls out spreads his wings and prepares to attack. Get away, get away! <laughs> then they say something first. You know, maybe in the voice of a beloved celebrity. <laughs> Fine. You'd think, after all these years, <laughs> I'd know not to fly over volcanoes. <laughs> I'm a freaking idiot. <laughs> Welcome. That's perfect. <laughs> All right, Amy, it's your turn. We need one more hit. Finish him off. Here we go. Fifteen. It's a hit. The dragon collapses to the ground. Oh, no, no, wait, wait. And says, "Mother, is that you? Your little boy is coming home. Should we get lunch, or you want to eat at the zoo?" Oh, Howie, I don't need food as long as I can look at my phone. <laughs> I don't like when you imitate me. You want to hear my steward? Oh, it's been a while since I've gone on a date. Mind if we watch the monkeys doing it? I said that to you in confidence. <laughs> Hey, Sheldon. Hello. <laughs> oh, my God, you look amazing. I find you guilty of murder because you are killing it. <laughs> well, technically, the Supreme Court wouldn't determine a defendant's guilt or innocence in a criminal matter. They could only reverse or revamp a jury's conviction based on a constitutional or statutory issue. <laughs> Why are you laughing? His statement was factually correct. <laughs> You're sitting in my spot. <laughs> you don't have a spot. What is wrong with you today? Maybe he's cranky because he's off his bathroom schedule. <laughs> well, I can understand how that would make someone irritable. Interesting fact. Irritable comes from the Latin, susceptible to anger. <laughs> Just because I used a word doesn't mean I want its etymology. No, interesting fact, <laughs> etymology comes from the Greek You word. are being so annoying, stop it. <laughs> and why are you two laughing? Sheldon, <laughs> he's being you. He's dressed as you for Halloween. Well, so you're not laughing at him. You're laughing at me. <laughs> We're not laughing at you. We're laughing with you. But I'm not laughing. <laughs> then the first one. <laughs> you find yourselves in an overgrown old forest. And before you is a, a giant oak tree with a face on it that looks a lot like Nicolas Cage. <laughs> he says, Travel with caution. <laughs> These woods are home to the bones of many a fallen hero. Uh, see, Howard's just as good a dungeon master as I am. As good? Well, you just got pantsed in the schoolyard, four eyes. <laughs> hey, come on, guys, focus. Um, uh, almighty Nicholas Cage tree. We thank you for your warning, but we are brave warriors, and nothing short of death will keep us from our goal. <laughs> oh, 
Lucy's free after all. See ya. <laughs> hey, hey, you can't leave. We just started. You're right. I should finish the game. I take my plus one long sword, stab myself in the face with it. I'm dead. I've got a date with a girl. Bye. <laughs> We'll be fine. Watch. <clears throat> Suddenly, a spectral shape rises from Kuthra Polly's bloody corpse and says, Don't worry, buddies. Ghost Raj will help guide you through the forest. <laughs> well, I'm just a tree, but if I were you, I'd listen to your ghost friend. <laughs> Why hasn't Stephen Hawking played a word? The, the guy's a genius. Maybe you weren't challenging enough for him. Not challenging. I was humiliating the man. I was thinking of writing a book called The Brief History of the Time I Made Stephen Hawking Cry Like a Little Girl. <laughs> Here's the problem. You can't beat Hawking like that. He hates to lose. Everyone knows the guy's a big baby. I mean, forget the wheelchair. He should be in a stroller. <laughs> really? One time, when I was working with him, he said that Johnny Depp was in The Matrix. I told him he was wrong, but he kept insisting. So I looked it up online and showed him. Well, the next day, he had a pizza party. And everyone got invited but me. <laughs> and then he was all, your invitation must have gotten lost in The Matrix. <laughs> Good Lord, what have I done? Good Lord, what have I done? <laughs> Terrible. All right, Hotshot, let's hear your Indian. I can't sit on that elephant. My ass is on fire from eating or this curry. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Never played Dungeons and Dragons with girls before. Oh, don't worry, sweetie, no one has. <laughs> So, what do you say? I'll leave it up to the dungeon master. <laughs> a satanic fungus that looks suspiciously like Al Pacino <laughs> rises from the forest floor and says, You're playing D&D. <laughs> You're playing D&D. This whole apartment <laughs> is playing D&D. <laughs>